welcome back to my channel okay so i decided to do another weekly vlog which we don't know how it's gonna be because basically my week is waking up going to the gym and working until until the work is done but anyway i figured that um because i'm having a good makeup day i would do a weekly vlog or what i wore in a week we haven't decided what this is going to be so if you're interested in seeing a bunch of random clips then um keep on watching so there's a lot of construction around here so i apologize for the background noise i figured i would start showing you what i'm wearing today this is a frankie shop set i actually showed this set in another video and now i'm finally being able to wear it that's the only good thing about summer coming to an end i can't wear my sets my things that i got <laughs> that was too hot to wear this is a petted t-shirt and just a matching pants now i got this in a small and i would say that if you are interested in getting this maybe go low lower size maybe go a size down for these because I, they're super boxy which right now i don't mind but i think you know if i were to get another one of these i would probably get it an extra small i think would fit me a little bit better but i do love the shoulder the padded shoulder detail and yeah if you don't if you already have broad shoulders and you don't like that then this is probably not it a lot of other stores have sets like this they range from being super inexpensive to be a little bit more uh higher price this is quite a you know an expensive set so just keep that in mind but i will say that the quality on these are just so good it's super thick and then for jewelry such a hard word to say um these are from lily clasp and this is actually new that i got. well yeah new i got this last week from zara i really really like this it looks like it's you know it's inside of your ear but it it isn't uh, and rings is like the same i have my lily clasp i don't know where i put my engagement ring i know it's in the apartment i just took off yesterday to take a shower and i i just have to look for it and then a quick update i moved the mirror from here i don't know i don't i'm not loving this but for now we're gonna keep it like that um until i find until i find something to go in here because i don't want a regular nightstand i just want something small um and i'm thinking about putting a mirror that i have in the hallway over here i still don't know um and yeah so we change i actually put the mirror over as you can see i put the mirror over there it's actually not terrible with the door right there um and i really like that i don't have to move the mirror every time i have to film it's just so easy this is actually we're going to be getting rid of this this is actually broken and we've had this for like a while now um a couple of new things that i don't know if i showed in another video i think i did one before then but anyway this is a zara home candle we haven't named her this is an h&m one which i've showed in another video and that's from zara home too and the reason i got this is because i put my scrunchies there i really really like that and you can use this as a vase too if you want to put some flowers but i just want it as a container kind of thing um so yeah this is what so this is the station the working station now i really like the fact it was before where the shelves are so i put this over here and i think it really works but now the actual now it's looking very bare over there so i may put some floating shelves and then style those shelves i don't know what to do with this so i cleaned this up before but i keep just whenever there's something that i don't know where to put i just throw it over here there's some camera gear over there there's some bags that i have in store back hand sanitizer all of that so i definitely need to clean this up i think i'm gonna actually move this to the hallway um and this area is still like my bags over there i don't know if i'll be able to like make this look cute but chair i got from wayfair it's not the most comfortable chair so i will say that the days that i work 12 hours that i'm sitting i'm literally strapped to my chair it's not the best um the chair in the other room it's definitely better but it wouldn't go under 
this desk so i just I, I, this is fine that's what i'm trying to say it's fine but not if you if you need to sit for a longer period of time yeah that's it for the home updates for today i'll probably see you guys tomorrow because I'm just gonna sit back here and earn my paycheck good morning so i just figured i would just since this is a weekly vlog and i guess we're doing this um here is the look for the gym and at the gym i just um i just walk on the treadmill for like 30 minutes sometimes 45 it really depends how much time i have and i'm having this cup of coffee because i was very very tired this morning and that's it like there's really nothing that exciting about this um i am wearing this top from i think i got this from forever 21 years ago a really good top and these pants i've had for like 12 years i don't even know all right guys i'll see you i'll see you later we are fresh we're clean and we're gonna eat oh my god that that sounds just terrible anyway it's gonna dig into this thing That's so good. i had to insert this look how beautifully cooked this egg is so gorgeous Hey girl, psst, psst. do you want my food? So I only changed twice, and this is finally the look we're wearing today. Home office edition. <laughs> um, I would not actually wear this to the office. I think because I'm on camera, I can just close this and like, you know, look profesh. But for the sake of the video, this is the look. I actually featured this set on um, my first Zara haul, I think. Yeah, I got this on. I got this. I got this during the winter sale. I love this set. I think I paid like nineteen for both the pants and the blazer, and I love that. Like, it's such a good blazer. It's. I will say that Zara does. They do pretty good blazers overall. So yeah, this is actually Zara head to toe. I don't have any shoes on. I'll probably just put my slippers. <laughs> since I'm, I'm not going anywhere but yeah this is the look it does help me getting dressed up in the morning and doing my makeup and then for makeup let me get a little bit closer so for makeup today i'm actually using the nikki tutorials and beauty bay palette um i typically don't go for pink red eye i feel like i have pink eye i don't mind this look i think it looks good it's not my favorite so i'll probably just wouldn't do this again with this color but i will say that this color actually on the pan is soup it's a very bright red and it's reading on me like a very beautiful kind of um berry color so it doesn't really i think it's because i you know i didn't really just pack the color um which i i don't mind i just it does not look like that on the pan Overall, most of her shades on the pan, they look exactly the same on the eyes, at least the ones that I've tried. For foundation, I'm actually using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. So you know when you, you're you done with your look and for some reason you don't love it? That's how I felt. So I actually put the um, House Labs in my waterline. Now I'm questioning, does it look too much like a costume makeup kind of day? I don't I I like it. I i wish i had i honestly wish i had a, a bright yellow <laughs> to you know even make this a little bit more costumey but anyway and then i put this other necklaces from zara that i felt like it would go really well with the rest of the look so i think that's it i think what do you guys think is it a lot i really you know what the first time i tried these i think when I use this on my eye, they dry quite fast, which I read a review later on. And somebody was like, if you're going to purchase these and use these, just you have to act fast. Um, so I wasn't a big fan when I tried to create like a wing because I felt like it was too drying of a formula. But I will say for my waterline, I used that yesterday. And the whole day, my 
it, it stayed on it was incredible so i was actually just on amazon trying to find other colors that i may be interested in buying but they were all out they only had like black and like i don't need a black one i'm good so yeah that's um Look. Yeah, lunch for today was dinner last night and we have chicken, quinoa, parmesan cheese, Brussels sprouts, garlic, and broccoli. Yeah, that's what we're doing because we have to, you know, not order food anymore. So, it's gonna eat. Wow. Jay put too much hot sauce on his food. It's a little bit red. I am not loving the combo today. I feel like it's too shiny. And look, I look, I love looking like a greasy chicken. Like, I don't mind that look. But today, for some reason, I feel like it, this is just too much. And I think it has to do with the setting spray that I use. I use the Rare Beauty setting spray. And I, I think it's too dewy with this combination of products. I think definitely when I use that, setting spray and i'm using the rare beauty foundation i think those two work very well together but it's a lot i don't know i'm not i'm not loving look i love color i don't have a problem trying new looks and if i don't like it i can just not do it again and i think it's just like not a pink eyeshadow kind of girl i don't know i'm not oop Duty calls, gotta go, bye. Um, so remember when I said I wasn't loving my makeup today? I kept looking and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try something. I thought about redoing my eyeshadow and then this happened and I'm like, what the f <laughs> Oh my God, thank God I don't have to like be on any calls. I'm so sorry. Like I actually like the, the how precise my liner looks and not everywhere but like more on the tail end it looks really cool but like i don't even know i don't this is oh my god the look is an interesting look but i don't think the pink and the yellow go and then the blue is just it's a lot i'm not feeling it this is not pretty so uh i may just take this off ahead of time i don't even know god what did I do? I will say the NYX eyeliner, pretty good. And I did it. I just took the makeup off and I did a quick neutral eye. And yeah, that's gonna be the look for the rest of the day. I don't even know why I took the effort of doing this. I mean, it's almost 4 p.m. You know, where am I going? I will say that that Nikki Tutorials palette is so and I did change my lip color. I use this Huda Beauty. I'll link below. I'll link in the. It's like a Huda Beauty liquid lip that is not the most uncomfortable. I mean, some liquid lips are just ugh. This one. This one doesn't look bad. I feel like my lip liner is a little, huh? Not the best. Let's just stay stay here. So. <laughs> it's end of day but not for moi not yet i just popped i just want to pop in here real quick um actually no seriously i just used this nars um what is this this is a translucent crystal powder I just use this because i was so shiny and i do like being shiny don't get me wrong i think a glow is amazing but i was just it was a lot it was too much. So, I'm opening my powder. This is a great angle. Oh, girl. Here's the powder. And let me just show you real quick. And it comes with this sponge thingy, which I actually use to apply the product. And don't hate it. It's kind of dirty now. Um, it, it's just, let me see if I can swatch this. You literally barely, hold on. You barely, can you see this? I'm not giving you the finger. It's so light, but 
it's, it works. I wish I had done a before so you guys could see how a greasy, hold on, I have a grease right on my cheek. Mm. Is that grease or is that just like your glow? Hmm. All right, let's try over here. Hmm. I don't want to take all my glow away. <laughs> okay. It's really nice. I feel like it blurs your skin. I don't know if that's just like placebo effect. Anywho. Hope you like this. Racco. <laughs> and I'm gonna go back into my desk and just um work 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 work. Anyway working from home. Anyway, I'm just having my breakfast and yeah, I'll get ready for the day. Look at that, we changed, um, still wearing <laughs> sleepers. I probably won't change, but uh, makeup is actually very similar from two days ago. I really like that look and I thought you would go really well with this dress. This is a dress from In Other Stories that I got, um, that I got during the summer and I feel like I can still wear this now, so I'm gonna do it. And yeah, and I did uh, blow dry my bangs and did some like, curls a little bit because my hair was very puffy um but yeah that's that's the look for today i don't have any jewelry on yet probably put some on later but yeah just figure i'll show you guys i've been trying to do that reels thing and trust me, it's a lot those things are difficult so my reels are not great but it is what it is we're just we're just gonna keep trying i did want to do a little close-up on the hold on it's a hair here I did want to do a little closer on the makeup because it looks, I don't know if you guys can see all the, the sparkles, but there's like green, pink, blue. It's just, so I use the Beauty Bay palette once again, but the green over here, that's from a Pixi um, liquid eyeshadow. Beautiful, so nice. And for lips, I actually mix a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner with a Fenty uh, Beauty um, lipstick i think the name is like mademoiselle lipsticks and they are matte but they are not drying and they're lipsticks they're not liquid lips and then the liner actually i've been using this physician's formula liner that it's a brush tip and it's so nice it gets like the flick so well the one thing that i will say is not the most it's not like super super black it's black but you know i do have to layer some some um some strokes, you know what I mean, to get to be a little bit blacker than this. And I just, and I ordered a Rare Beauty liner and I'm really excited to try, maybe it will become my favorite. I like the House Labs liner, which is the one that I used for the longest time and I used to really love that. But for some reason, it just, it's hard to get a seamless line. I mean, we all have creases in our eyes, but that one, it's just, it gets so difficult sometimes. I think maybe because it dries really fast. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that is, that's the look. So here's the midday pick me up and look how cute. We didn't have enough milk. So I just used this small cup and yeah, I'm a really good wife because I made this. What I got for you, baby. I told you not it's to. Okay. Is there any milk for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's enough. Look, you got a little cat. You got a little cat spoon. Could you? So I'm here having my lunch at my desk. I have a client call in a couple of minutes, so I just threw on this blazer just to you know look a little bit more like not like I'm going to the beach. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh. That's the afternoon, you know, just like doing this riveting content, riveting. Oh, and lunch, same thing as yesterday because we meal prep and we eat the same thing. So hopefully, hopefully one of my tops that doesn't fit anymore will fit again. I mean, that would be amazing, right?
weird. I don't know if you guys can see it. I never, ever had foundations to like break or just, I don't know how to say. I never had foundation to do this. Like, ever. <gasps> rare beauty. This is very rare. That never happened. It's either me getting old or this foundation not working for me. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I should, huh, maybe I should powder. I'm gonna powder. I'm gonna use my NARS powder that I showed you guys yesterday. Hopefully it will be better. Also, I am very shiny because I didn't set. It's my own fault, but I never had this happen before. Sorry, you're getting really a close-up of my mustache, but we're human beings, and I'm a human being with a lot of hair, so it is what it is. Um, another thing that I think broke me out a little bit, because you see, like, over here, and, like, even here, I think the Rare Beauty, um, man, I, lo I, I love the look, but I think the highlighter broke me out, because I didn't have this issue before. I don't know. I kind of want to say that wasn't it, but it may be it. It may be it. <sighs> well, that's my afternoon update. So I'm going to step out of the house for a couple of minutes. I'm getting this guy some sticky bun and a cappuccino, right? Some sticky bun, one sticky bun. So, just one? Okay, great. Yeah. And this is, this is the look, you guys. And then I'm, yeah, I actually have to stop at a tailor to get some of my pants hemmed, pick up a blazer at a vintage store, and then, yeah, I'll get this dude in. one sticky bun. That's all you want? probably saw that I popped out a little bit just to run some errands and then um, I picked up <laughs> this chocolate souffle from a local bakery it is so good and I have a cappuccino which at this point it's a little bit cold but it's so good too like this place is if you are in Astoria I feel like a store. I don't know if anyone, I mean, people that don't live in New York, and even people that, eh, I will say that people that live in New York, they know of Astoria, but Astoria is a neighborhood in Queens, and, you know, one of the things I love about New York is that food here is so good. I'm pretty sure, like, other places, okay, not just New York, the food is good. A lot of places have really good food. I will say, I love New York, but you can get very different types of food. Love them. I, that's one of the things that I really, really love about living here. Not only that, but like the mix of cultures and there's people from all over the world and I love that about New York. I don't feel so out of place being an immigrant because there's so many immigrants everywhere. I mean, this is, I won't get into that, but Astoria is, is known for having really good Greek food. Um, but also like the, I think mean, the cafes here are so good. I could like do a video just showing you guys like my favorite places in Astoria because they're so good. Anyway, I should eat this and then I have to, oh, I have to eat my a little bit of my cake and then I have to go back to work because <sighs> cheers. So I was going to do time lapse and just like, because I'll probably cut a lot of this. This chocolate souffle is so good. Oh my god, it's so I had quinoa, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and a little bit of chicken for lunch and then and then a chocolate souffle for my afternoon snack. Hmm. You know it's all about balance. All about balance. But they said no, that we know that they know. So, uh, yes, the 
the messers become the messies. Hi, beautiful. Hi. Hi, baby. You are so Look at that. We made it to Friday. So for today, what have I done? Um, I went to the gym. I'll probably insert a couple clips. Uh, I was there for an hour because no one booked time. So I just stayed. And I'm finishing my coffee because I gotta, gotta hop on calls, gotta work. But it's finally the weekend. And I'm excited. I'm very excited. So you may ask yourself, girl, where do you think you're going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm working and I'm wearing a feather top. But you know what? We can make this look work appropriate. So this is the look, right? Like, yes, I'm on a team skull and I can have this clothes. And look at that. So business ready. And then here it's party times. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so deets on these look. So this the hold on. Oh my god, these pants. Oh you know, better. <sighs> Much better. Anyway, this the pant suit is from Zara. I got this during the winter sale. I got this. I think the pants I ended up paying $12.90 and the blazer was like $19. Original price was like $80 and $60 or something like that. It's a lot of money. So yeah, this is this is the look for today. Oh, and the feather top is from House of CB. My Zara trans fall transition piece video. I wanted to style this top and I tried to put it on and just wouldn't close. I mean, <laughs> so upset. Um, but then today I was like, you know what? Let's give it a try. And it fit just fine. So I don't know. Anyway, I gotta go have a call. This is the look. Bye. Oh, and the makeup, yeah. It's a lot. All right, guys, so, okay. Anyway, we're just about to eat dinner. It's fries. You're from Brazil. You know about who is, so we ordered, it's type of sandwich. We ordered from our, um, oh my God, it's so loud in here. We ordered from our favorite Brazilian restaurant here in Astoria, so we're just gonna eat that. It's a junk food kind of dinner. And I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog and I'll see you guys on the, on the next one. So thank you for hanging out with me this week and bye-bye. Um,